Instagram Reels has just updated its Instagram Reel editor. But don't worry, this time they made it easier to use and you're gonna love this. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the new Instagram Reels video editor. Hi, I'm Wonderful Ida, an educational video producer based in Vancouver, Canada. Do you wanna get started with Instagram Reels but feel overwhelmed when it comes to gear and coming up with real ideas? Well, I've got a special treat for you. I created a free Reels blueprint so you can create your next 10 Reels within five minutes. Follow the link below to download your free blueprint now. To show you how to use the new editor, I thought it'd be fun to put together a reel. And I decided to pick something that is currently trending. So this is gonna include both uh, using an audio track that is popular at the moment, and also adding text and videos to the reel. So let's get started. The easiest way to find music when you need to use it is to save it. So I saved this reel for inspiration and now I'm just gonna access the reel. I filmed all my clips and I just need to create the actual reel using the editor. So to access your saved, you're gonna go into your profile and then you'll see the three lines in the corner. So click on those and then you're gonna see saved. So click on saved and then it's gonna have your audio or all posts. You might have more folders in here. I really cleaned mine up lately. So this is the look of what I'm trying to get. And I wanna access this music. So I'm just gonna click on the reel. And you can see on the bottom, there is an audio track. It's original audio. I can click on that. And now it's going to allow me to use audio. So I have my audio in here. And now I just need to add my clips. So I'm gonna add my first clip. So with the bottom, you can see that there's this indicator where you have bars that you can move in and out. So these allow you to indicate where you're gonna start and stop the clip. So now I'm just listening for the audio so I can know when to end it. Okay, there we go. I'm just gonna add all the clips that I wanted to use in here. Okay, so I have all my clips added. So you add clips the same way as you always did. And now you can see that I have um, the menu up top and then I have an edit clips uh, option here at the bottom and then I have a next option. So if I click next, this is just gonna get me to the final part of the reel, which is just gonna allow me to post it. But the actual editor is if you click edit at clips. So you can see I did add my clips into here, but now when I look at this, I can uh, use my, pinch my fingers just to um, move in and out so I can see everything a little bit better. But what it ha does is at the bottom, you can see I can click on the audio and what it does is it includes the waveform. So this is awesome because this is gonna allow you to edit it on the beat. So you can see that I can move the cursor. So by moving my thumb on this, the white line, that is like an indicator line. I can't move where that line is, but I can move where the clips are around it. So if I put that indicator line um, on the waveform, so that's like on the wave, like so you can see at the bottom part where the audio gets bigger, that's when the audio starts. So I'm gonna want to just adjust there. It's gonna allow me to add some from the beginning. And I can adjust it so that it ends right on the clip. So this is going to allow me to sync it to the music much easier because I can see exactly where it starts. So see, I can just move that indicator. Let's just move it so it stops right there. So where it's going to stop is not at the end of the yellow line, but at the beginning. So at the end of the actual clip. So that's still just a little off. I can move this over just a little bit and I can click on the clip that I want to adjust and I can adjust this just very tiny. There you can see. And it's like perfectly synced to that. And then I can go through and then adjust all my clips so that they are on a beat. So I just click on the clip I want to adjust and then move it so it starts on the beat. Let's adjust that just a little bit more and then move it so it starts on that beat. And so this really allows you to fine tune and like make sure that your reel is um, crisp and like looks more professional. And so you're just gonna do this for your entire video. When you click on the clip, you'll know that you're moving that clip is because you'll see the yellow indicators around it. 
I'm just going to adjust the end and I can go right to the end so you can see that the music stops there because the waveform stops there but my audio but my video is a little bit longer so I can just adjust it so that it ends the same time as the music so there's no uh, none of that um, the clip where it's the clip and then uh, it's all of a sudden silent and you still have video so this is going to make it look a little bit better so what else I can do here you can see, um, so when I click on the audio, it only allows me to adjust the audio. The audio settings that I'm able to adjust is adjusting the section of the music that I want is there. And then I can also adjust which type of music. So I could replace it potentially if I click here and then I can add a different type of music that way. But we don't want that. So if I click on the clips itself, um, the only option it gives me when I click on a clip is discard so I can get rid of that clip or when you see the yellow indicator I can like make it smaller or longer. When I click off of everything then you can see here at the bottom it's going to give me more options. So it has reorder. This allows me to see all my clips and allows me to move them around. So say like we want to do that might be kind of cool. So it like breaks up what clips are there and then maybe like let's see if we break down these ones. Mm, I kind of like it going zoomed in. So there now I reordered it and now I can go back and just double check that since I reordered it does it still line up. So this I just have to adjust ever so slightly and then this one let's see if it's going to be on that one I'm just going to have to short adjust that ever so slightly. So this is a lot easier because before we had to listen and listen to the beat to cut on the beat, but visually you can see where all the beats are. So like the beat is typically where it just goes uh, bigger because that means it's getting louder. So if the waveform is getting bigger, that's typically a great place to cut, especially like if you look here, so you can see that it's, it gets bigger and then it gets smaller and then it gets bigger again. So on like here, or here are both great places to cut or change your, your video. So I'm going to click off of here. You can also add clips, use this to add clips. You can zoom in and out of your track so you can see the whole thing or just the little bit. You can press play in the corner which is allowing you to preview it so you can see what it looks like, make sure you like everything. You can also add text from this way now. So if I click add text, so I already know which text I want to add. I wrote it out so I have it all ready for me on a sheet of paper right here. And I'm just going to start writing my text. I can move my text around, pinch it, and make it smaller and bigger. And now once I'm done and I'm happy with my text, I press done. And it's going to allow me to decide where I'm going to use that text. And the good thing about this is it allows you to line up with your cuts a lot easier. So you can see that the text is selected because the yellow indicator is on it. And now all I do is I click at the end of that. You can see when I get to that first uh, clip, it's going to have that yellow line. So it allows me to line it up and I don't have to second guess and worry about it. So I can use that at the beginning. Uh, see yellow line at the end and I know that my text is only going to appear at that particular moment which is awesome. Uh, another thing I can do with text if I want to is I can activate text to speech. So if I press on this it's going to give me two voice options where it's going to actually read out what my text is. I'm just going to click on none for that. So say there and then I can also click edit which is going to allow me to adjust it. If you click off of it, your other options are add clips. So this will allow you to add clips to the overall video. You can add the text. You can add stickers. So stickers are, say for example, I want to add captions. So captions is going to be right here. It's a sticker. I can click on that. And because I do not talk in this video, it's not going to find any captions. So it's not going to add any. But if I do, it will add them that way. And then I can also add anything else within this. So let's say for example I want to add this heart. 
I can click on the heart, so done, and then I can indicate which part that is going to show up at. If I no longer want the cart, I just discard. This is where you do a bulk of your editing, so aligning it, making sure it's all lined up that way. And then you can access more editing options, and that is with this downward button here. So the down downward arrow will bring you to this, which has the menu up top. So the, uh, what you can do here is the first one will allow you to save it. This will save it without audio, and just so you have the clip as is. Then you have music. This just gives you more options when it comes to music, including controls. With volume controls, you can control the volume output of each element of audio within your video. And then you can write voiceover. You can access your saved audio, all your saved audio is right here. You can import your audio or you can add sound effects. This um, star with the three stars, this is going to let you add special effects or some kind of filters to your video. It's only going to allow you to add one effect overall for the entire video. So if that's something you wanna do, then this is how you would access that. Like say for example, I don't want any of these filters. You just click on it a second time, it's gonna take them out and it's gone. Next up, the happy face is another way to access your stickers. So you see here, so this is your captions and if you wanna add any gifts or photos into it. And lastly, the text is another option for accessing your text. Once your reel is edited, so like you have all your clips, you've listened to it and you're happy. I actually wanted to add more text here before I continue, so I'm just gonna do add text. Hmm. You can zoom in and pinch your text to zoom in and out. You can like turn it how you want to. And you see these like yellow indicators on the side. That's just showing you where would potentially be cut off depending on the type of phone that it's viewed on. So I think it's, you can see here, if I go too low, there's this line at the bottom. That means that if someone's just viewing it on their feed, they won't see the full thing. So I think I should go here. So I'm done with that. And now I'm already clicked on it. I can in move these yellow indicators to indicate where I want this text. So I only want this text in the beginning. So let's move that over there. Wait. There we go, it's aligned, done. Next, and now I'm ready to share my Instagram Reel. Do you wanna get started with Instagram Reels but feel overwhelmed when it comes to gear and coming up with real ideas? Well, I've got a special treat for you. I created a free Reels blueprint so you can create your next 10 Reels within five minutes. Follow the link below to download your free blueprint now. And remember, messy action is always better than no action. Till next time.